Hubble's law is one of the fundamental uh, laws which underpin the relationship between the movement of all objects in the uh, universe and certainly was uh, the key idea which led to the construction of what's now known as the Big Bang Theory. So Hubble's law, we're going to look at redshift, recession velocity, Hubble's constant. I've already drawn out here an absorb absorption spectrum such that when you see uh, the light from a star, from red into orange, green, etc., all the way down to blue, that imprinted upon the spectrum is uh, some dark lines. Now, there's a separate video uh, on those, so I'm not going to dwell on an absorption spectrum here. But these lines are important in as much as when Hubble observed different galaxies, what he found, that the light from those galaxies and their associated absorption spectrum lines were shifted. And they were shifted towards the red end of the spectrum. So you see that each one of these spectral lines has shifted slightly towards the red end of the spectrum. Now, again, there are videos I've done already on um, the reasons for this, and um, we won't go into those now. But essentially, if the spectral lines have moved towards the red end of the spectrum, uh, then the Doppler effect would state that the object which is giving out that light must be moving away from the observer. So what Hubble found was that every single galaxy, uh, apart from one, um, was redshifted. So every galaxy and every star is actually moving away from us. So remember, his, uh, his he used the spectra, the absorption spectra of light coming from stars. He measured how far the uh, absorption lines had shifted towards the red, and he discovered that everything is moving away. However, on top of that, what he discovered was that using the Cepheid variable method to measure the distance to each galaxy, which was based on uh, Henrietta Leavitt's ideas, what he could actually do was plot the speed that it was moving away versus how far away it was. So he used Henrietta Leavitt's uh, Cepheid variable method to measure the distance to the galaxy, and then he measured the speed that the galaxy was moving away from us. And his graph is quite a famous piece of data. So this is the distance of the galaxy in parsecs. And this is the recession velocity. So recession means to move away. So this is the speed with which things are moving away. And then he drew the line of best fit through the graph, admittedly with lots of scatter. Um, and therefore, the, 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 the line of best fit is quite open to debate or was open to debate at the time. So the importance of this graph is that the conclusion, the pattern, is that further away the star or galaxy is, the faster it's moving. Now, <clears throat> this was big news, obviously, um, especially because at the time the steady state theory that the uh, universe was a sort of unchanging pre-made thing was the one which um, was prevalent at the time. So his, his discovery really blew those ideas out of the water and, and he showed that the universe is actually a very dynamic, ever-changing thing. And these, uh, these galaxies are moving away at speeds of up to 1,000 kilometres per second um, at the most distant. And even the nearby ones are sort of 500 kilometres per second. So everything was moving away from everything else. <clears throat> if everything is moving away from everything else, that means that 
the universe must be expanding. <clears throat> and this led on to the idea of the Big Bang Theory, because if the universe is expanding now, and if you rewind time, then everything comes back together in one place. So, uh, so Hubble's law is that there is a relationship between the recession velocity and the distance. And that is enshrined in an equation, which is that speed of recession is equal to the Hubble constant, and the Hubble constant is the gradient of the graph, times by the distance that the star is away. Now the units we use for this are uh, speed of recession is in kilometers per second, and we use megaparsecs, that's millions of parsecs, for the distance. And the Hubble constant itself is in kilometers per second per megaparsec. And the value of the Hubble constant has changed over the years. Um, by 2010, we had the value of 70.6 plus or minus 3.1, that means with an uncertainty of 3.1 either way, kilometres per second per megaparsec. Um, so that is Hubble's law, and you may be asked to calculate the distance away that a star or galaxy is by knowing the Hubble constant and measuring the speed of recession, or vice versa, you might be asked to calculate the speed of recession knowing these two, or even to recalculate a, a new version of the Hubble constant. Um, now, the other, the other important thing about the Hubble constant is that 1 over the Hubble constant has units of time, and therefore 1 over the Hubble constant gives us the age of the universe. So this was our first idea that the universe was about 14,000 million years old because that's what 1 over the Hubble constant gives us. <clears throat>